An alarming rise in breast cancer among military veterans is reigniting concern about burn pits on overseas military bases. Now, women who served in Iraq and Afghanistan say they now face a higher risk of cancer from exposure to the pit's toxic fumes. As some studies show the rates of breast cancer among women in the military are 20 to 40 percent higher. As Natalie Brand shows us, it can also be a fierce fight to get benefits to help with treatment. Marine veteran Kate Hendricks Thomas never imagined a battle with stage four breast cancer, a reality she's had to share with her seven year old son. I'm proud of you. We've started to tell him the truth that, you know, mommy has a terminal condition and it, it is going to kill her, but that she'll always be with you. The 41 year old learned of her diagnosis four years ago, more than a decade after returning from Iraq. I was seeing my nurse practitioner for an annual exam. And she said, I want you to go get a mammogram based on where you've been stationed. The radiologist said it looked like I'd been dipped in something. Hendricks Thomas didn't realize danger had been lurking on base in the form of burn pits commonly used on overseas bases to get rid of waste. I was 25 years old and I felt like I was invincible. You know that feeling when you're that age. I wasn't concerned at the time about any exposure risk. You were concerned about surviving. Exactly. When you burn uh, hazardous materials that you have hundreds of toxic chemicals that can be inhaled into a person's body. And even now, California Congressman Raul Ruiz, who's also a doctor, has been working on bipartisan legislation to make it easier for veterans to access benefits by including a range of cancers among the illnesses that are considered to have a presumed link to burn pits. Right now, the uh, VA puts the burden of proof on the veterans. Currently, veterans have to prove a direct connection. Hendricks Thomas, who also has a PhD in health care, says it took her three years for her claim to finally get approved after it was initially denied. There is a true cost to war, and part of it is handling the veterans' benefits and health care when people come home. She's now focused on helping to change the system for others and cherish her time with family. Move, guys. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Alexandria, Virginia. And CBS News asked the VA how many burn pit related cancer claims have been approved so far but did not receive a response.